you remember when 18-year-old Elizabeth Taylor married 23-year-old hotel heir Conrad Nicky Hilton Jr. only to divorce 205 days later? I don't because I wasn't alive yet, but boy do I love old Hollywood gossip and skullduggery. Before we get into this one, please note that this story does involve themes of addiction and domestic violence. It was October 1949 when 17-year-old star Elizabeth Taylor met heir to the Hilton Hotel chain, Nikki Hilton, at LA's famous Macombo nightclub. Even though she was only 17, Elizabeth had already been engaged twice. Once to Glenn Davis, who was one of the best college football players in the U.S. before heading off to the Army, and then to millionaire Bill Polly, who was 28 when he proposed to 17-year-old Elizabeth, but she wanted to focus on her career instead of being a homemaker, so the two never made it down the aisle. Liz was immediately taken by Nikki. While the two courted, she graduated high school and starred in Father of the Bride. On May 6th, 1950, they wed at the Church of the Good Shepherd in Beverly Hills and had a lavish ceremony at the Bel Air Country Club, all paid for by MGM, who used the wedding as a promotion for the newly released Father of the Bride movie. Their tab included Liz's $3,500 gown, which would be around $46,000 in today's loonies. They headed out on a three-month honeymoon in Europe, and it was not good. Nikki started drinking the first night of their honeymoon and didn't seem to stop. He preferred late-night gambling to his bride's company, and Liz consoled herself with shopping trips. She said in her 1988 autobiography that Nikki became sullen, angry, and abusive physically and mentally. Their marriage was plagued with his drinking, gambling, heroin addiction, and abuse. Nikki beat Liz so violently while she was pregnant, he caused her to miscarry. During their marriage, he was also allegedly not the most faithful. Zsa Zsa Gabor claimed in her 1991 autobiography that she had had an affair with Nikki, who was her stepson. Their affair started during her marriage to his father and ended during his marriage to Liz. On January 29th, 1951, Elizabeth Hilton became Elizabeth Taylor once again after telling the court that her husband had been indifferent to her and used abusive language. The court granted her a divorce from Nikki on the grounds of mental cruelty. She also refused any alimony. I should note that it was later alleged that their marriage was all a PR stunt at the hands of MGM to promote Father of the Bride. Liz went along with it because Nikki seemed nice enough, but when her parents found out about the abuse, they put a stop to it. Fact or fiction? I'll let you decide. After his marriage ended to Liz, he was engaged to actress Betsy von Furstenberg, but the two never made it to the altar. In 1954, he was arrested for drunk driving, which earned him two years probation. Nikki went on to date a slew of Hollywood starlets, including Natalie Wood and Joan Crawford, at the same time. What a cad. In 1958, he finally settled down with oil heiress Patricia McClintock. They had two children, Michael Otis Hilton and Conrad Nicholson Hilton III. But their marriage ran into trouble when Nikki became addicted to sleeping pills, which he liked to mix with booze. Patricia filed for a divorce in 1964, stating that Nikki had caused her extreme mental and physical suffering, but they ended up reconciling. She filed for divorce again in 1967 due to Nikki's repeated acts of threats and violence. While their divorce never went through, they were separated at the time of Nikki's death on February 5th, 19 1969 when he passed away due to a sudden heart attack allegedly due to alcoholism. Now what about Liz? Well, this is a special eight-part series, so we'll talk about all eight marriages as we go. Does that does that sound good? 